hello guys so what we see today here is a uh, version 1 of a peltier based personal cooling system or pccs as i call it because calling this thing as a diy ac or a peltier based air conditioner is a bit of overstatement so for personal cooling i am trying out these uh, little experiments and let me tell you guys that this is uh, not even an alpha build so i have just uh, thrown this thing together in say around two or three hours and this is a very rough build so it's not perfect in any manner and this is just an experiment that i am sharing with you guys so what this thing does is it provides cool air for say one person who is like just sitting around chilling and you know doing a little bit of work on the pc so editing stuff and all of that so in that case this thing kind of works at least i am trying to make it work so what we have today here is uh, four Peltier chips. They are over here on this uh, particular water block. They are mounted right here and each of these uh, chips uh, will take somewhere around four amps. And these Peltier chips are powered using this uh, good old PC SMPS. So you can see that this uh, PC SMPS right there, that's the description. And this thing is rated at 300 watts. So what I believe is that this thing is using somewhere around 250 watts for providing cool breeze. And the hot side of uh, this uh, particular machine is taken care of by a water block and a water pump. I'll show it to you in a minute where this uh, hose goes. So that is about the hot side. And for the cold side what I've done is I've used these uh, thick AMD CPU heat sinks. So each of this uh, heat sink is somewhere around 70 to 80 millimeters and this is the old school socket am2 based heat sink so they used to be very nice and strong very thick you can see there's a bit of condensation already happening which means that this thing is pretty cold so uh, that's this heat sink and i am using this heat sink for actually the cold side so what is going to happen is that these uh, little cpu fans over here these ones these are two 80 millimeter fans they are going to suck in the ambient air from your room or you can say the hot air they are going to shower the air on these heat sinks and then you're going to get a, a breeze from this particular direction so that is the cold side and to prevent the air from leaking towards this back side i have put these cards so overall this thing is very ghetto or you can say this is very janky setup and just for a quick afternoon trial i've just put this thing together so that's the mess of wiring that i've made so currently everything is being powered by 12 volts be it the fans be it the belt G module by the way look at this cool little condensation over here let me focus you can see how it's covered in these little gems of water little beads water over here so at least the cooling performance of this thing is uh, good yeah you can't expect this thing to cool down an entire room right so, but for personal cooling, it's a it's a good experiment. And here to check out the hot side, what I have is this uh, small uh, DC water pump. And if this uh, project is going to go any further, what I'll do is I'll try putting a radiator or a condenser over here so that uh, the hot side can be continuously cooled and then it can be properly put outside the house. But currently I don't have that kind of setup so I'm just using this water bucket and this thing is not actually very effective because the water of these buckets will you know it, it will heat up in say half an hour then I'll just switch the bucket like that so for a testing purpose this is alright but long term it's not going to work for long term you will be needing radiators and condensers so there you have it. There's a neat little Sunday afternoon of some good Peltier based experiments. Take care and have a nice day guys.